Okay, so if you look at the information that you're given, you're given four different times, you're given four different water levels, you can probably figure out which ones are high tides and which ones are low tides, hopefully, right? Y'all are looking at me like, mm -hmm. um, You are also given a moon phase right here. Did y'all see that? How am I going to calculate the tidal range? Okay, I'm probably going to use these two right there. So my highest is 5.8. My lowest is 0 0.7. When I do that math, I don't know about y'all, but I got 5.1 meters. Is that what you guys got? I'll take that as a yes. Okay. Then the question is, is this a spring tide, a neap tide, or is it neither one? What can y'all say? Is it a spring tide? How do you know it's not a spring tide? Spring tides occur during what phases? Full and new. And it's not, okay? This, what phase is this? That is a waning gibbous. So it's not a spring tide. It's not a neap tide because neap tides occur during first and last quarter moons. So it's not spring. It's not neap. Which one is it? It's neither one. because the moon is a waning gibbous moon. Is everybody good? All right, decorate. Just so my answers are a little more obvious. All right, let's go to the next scenario. Your tides at Super Smooth Beach, California. Pointed out your high tide right there, your low tide right there. Um, really important clue right here. What phase of the moon is that? This indicates a new moon. So if it's a new moon, what type of tidal range are we having? This is going to be a spring tide. Okay, and again, there's no numbers. So how are you going to calculate this tidal range from this picture? J yeah, just count the little squares. All right, so there's high tide. There's low tide. So one, two, three, four, five, six. I count seven boxes. What about y'all? Yeah? Okay. So your tidal range, we're just going to say, is seven boxes. Question. Will the tidal range on July 5th be larger or smaller than the one for this day. Smaller, why? Yeah, your new moon, your spring tides are your biggest tidal ranges. So this is going to be your maximum tidal range. So the day after, it's going to be smaller. Does that make sense to you guys? Because your spring tides is your big, biggest tidal range, and that's happening on this 4th of July. So the day after, your tidal range is going to be a little bit smaller. All right. Moving on up. Am I going too fast? All right. 
So now we've got a diagram, we've got the Sun, the Earth, and our eight main positions of the Moon. And we need to figure out what's what, first of all. What's the first thing I recommend that you do any time that you're given a diagram like this? What phase do I want you to find and start with? New Moon. Which one's going to be New Moon? Okay, C is New Moon. What I'm going to do is I'm going to color it all in and show what the side facing the Earth looks like. Of course, I'm not actually going to be able to look up in the sky and see a new moon, and why is that? Yeah, you're looking in the same direction as the sun. All right. But C is a new moon, and then which direction am I going to go? Counterclockwise. So D is going to be what? Waxing crescent. Ooh, that's a teeny tiny crescent. Let me see if I can make that a little bigger. Okay. Well, I don't know. That didn't help a whole lot. Okay. So I'm just going to put W-X-C-R-E-S for waxing crescent. What is E? First quarter. And since it's part of the waxing phase, it's illuminated on the right-hand side. What about F? Waxing gibbous. Am I going to color G in at all? No. Why? What phase is that? It's full. The side facing us is completely illuminated, so we're going to leave it white. Uh, what is H? Waning gibbous. What is A? Last quarter, and last quarter has the lit side on the left. And then B? Is waning crescent. All right, guys, which ones are spring tides? New and full. That's going to be positions C and G. All right, which ones are neap tides? A and E. Oh my gosh. Okay. I had a pencil malfunction. All right. A and E. And which positions are neither spring nor neap? D, F, H, and B. Um, guys, most of your days are not spring tides and they're not neap tides either. So if the lunar cycle is 29 and a half days, I've got two days that count for spring tides, my new and my full. I've got two days that count for neap tides, my first and my last quarter. And then all of the other 29 and a half days are neither one because they're either like a waxing crescent, a waxing gibbous, a waning gibbous, or a waning crescent. Does that make sense? Most of your days do not have any special name for the tidal range. They're not spring and they're not neap either. They're just neither one of them. And there's no special name. Everybody got it? Okay.